Hello everybody. I was out playing the other day with some friends and one of my pals had awful difficulty in that she was constantly falling back off the golf ball. Now that's a bit of a problem because when you're trying to hit the ball powerfully in that direction and your body weight is going in the other direction at the critical time, you can see that it doesn't really add up to a very successful shot. Now I've brought along my trusty table tennis bat today to show you just exactly what happens when you do fall off the ball. Now what was happening for her was she was coming into the ball and trying to hit it from underneath. She had in her mind that it was her job to get the ball up. Look what that does to the shape of her right hand, the shape of the club face and your body starts to fall backwards. Now unless you recognise that that is potentially your problem, there's no point your pal is telling you not to fall back because as long as you do that, you will still fall back. So you first of all have to understand that this game is a sideways on hit, not an underneath hit. And I've got a little drill with a golf club which will help you get the very feeling that you want to get on the golf course. So I've got a wedge here, I put the butt end in my sternum and I extend my two arms as far as I can down the shaft. I just take a little tiny back swing and I go through. My arms are stretched and extended as far out on this side as they can possibly be. And you can see that with my body rotation, the toe is up in the air. Now that movement is completely different to the one that I showed you with the table tennis bat. If you come in from underneath, you can see how it pushes your centre of gravity back. The whole shape is different and you're going to fall off the ball. So understand that this is a sideways on game. You hit from the side, never from underneath. And the intention of having your two arms at this point extended as much as possible, that is enough to ensure that your weight is always driving forward onto your front foot. So a little bit of understanding and a little bit of intention in your shot should help you to get out of that falling back feeling. Keep those couple of things in mind and it should help you hit more powerful shots, more accurate shots and you'll finish on your front foot.